morning guys and welcome to another vlog so i'm actually starting a little vlog series um which is going to give you guys i guess a bit more of an insight to like what i get to on a weekly basis um but i'm going to start with three a week and see how we get on as well as the normal fashion content and um maybe one review a week as well so like i mentioned before i actually We'll be starting to share a lot more body positivity over here and just like ways for you guys to feel happier and better about yourselves and about your life. So yeah, if there's, as always, if there's anything you guys actually really want to see, then please leave me a comment down below. So we've got some autumn styling things coming up and some new Zara and H&M hauls and all, all that exciting stuff. So yeah, I guess. I guess I just wanted to not be blasting fashion at you guys all the time and if you're not already um, following me over on Instagram then I often put a lot of polls up over there, polls up over there where I ask you guys what you want to see more of so it's really really beneficial for to get some feedback from you guys like what you're enjoying and what you're not so yeah anyway if you're new and this is the first video you found then hello hi welcome I'm Katie and excuse my room if it's a bit of a mess in the background um i've just started a weekly vlog so i'm very excited about it and i just want to share with you guys now because if you are not new you'll know after the decennial prints arrived um i had them framed and everything but the sofa wasn't here yet but the sofa as you may see sneakily in the background is now here so i just kind of wanted to show you that part of the living room which is kind of getting there it's not quite done um we still need a coffee table we still need a rug and we still need some like nice side tables but other than that the lounge is almost done now and maybe like a nice side chair or something but um i'm trying to keep an eye out for one that i like so are you guys ready for the sofa Okay, so this is our new sofa. Oh, I literally love it. I do love it so much. The lighting isn't great in here today. It's kind of like a dark and dingy day. Um, but our decennia prints obviously on the wall and I'm in love. If you guys haven't yet seen the decennia video, then um, I've just updated the discount code so it's still valid um, because normally it only lasts seven days. So if there was anything you wanted, oh my God, we have breath. <laughs> Um, then by all means head, I'll leave it linked down below after this video and give it a watch. It's really, really good because you can create your own gallery wall. So you can change the wall to the colour of your wall. You can put a sofa in front of it. You can choose how many frames you want. You can choose the size of the frames you want and obviously the frames themselves. Um, so I waited a little while for these oak ones to come into stock and I'm so glad I did because I love them. I feel like it's a nice like zen chilled vibe which I really wanted to just really relaxing and like welcoming. Um, and then my tree in the corner has gone a little bit crazy um, but I love my tree. Um, what we're going to do eventually is get a new TV, that one's going to go upstairs and get one on the wall. Um, this is just an old thing from Ikea but it's doing its job and then I've got a really gorgeous like Ikea basket in the corner which i absolutely love this basket but i am gonna get some new neutral shade um blankets for it so they will be changing because when i moved in here i just wanted everything pink um like and baby pinks but after living here for a little while you get a little bit bored of it we've only been here about nine months now but i just want everything to be like nice and neutral and just like mellow chilled colors so um, these pillows are from B&M and then I got this one the other day in Matalan and I went back to get another one and they didn't have any so I may just check online but also I've ordered um, some material which uh, my mum is going to make us some cushions and cover like a little pouffe that I bought um, in as well so I'm really excited for that and it's like a nice white with like a gold fleck through and the pattern is almost not too dissimilar from that so I think it should look quite nice so yeah I'm really excited about that um and I think I forgot to say today's Tuesday but by the time you guys watch this it'll probably be Thursday or Friday and um what have I got planned today so I've already been to the gym this morning which I am getting back into my routine of going obviously now lockdown is easy the gyms have opened again which is really nice um, to like just be able to get out and see people and have someone like motivate you to do a workout although I did keep my workouts up in lockdown with some amazing fitness girls on Instagram so 
If you don't, you know, want to go back to the gym and you want to do some workouts, I can recommend some amazing girls on Instagram. So definitely just leave me a question or come over to Instagram and just like, let's have a chat um, about it because they really kept me really fit during lockdown, which was good. So going back to the gym hasn't been too hard. However, like obviously lifting weights again and things like that is, it's fun. I'm, I'm enjoying it. So, so yeah, that's all good. Um, and then I've just had a really nice chilled breakfast. Um, I had one of my favourite things for breakfast. I had almond butter on toast and a nice smoothie, um, which was protein smoothie, which was super yum. So I'm walking past my house. I always think if anyone looks in and I'm just like here chilling with the camera, I must look like a nutter. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go meet my dad for coffee and then do some little like admin bits on the computer. I think that's all. Oh, I need to take some stuff back to New Look as well. So yeah, I'll take you guys with me and let's have a little fun vlog day. I'm also going to be sharing some skincare over here soon. So make sure you are subscribed for that. Also, what do we think about this pampas grass? This is from a wish haul that's set to come up live on my YouTube channel soon. I'm just waiting for them to send me the link. So I just got back from a really good coffee with my dad, little catch up. Um, I thought I'd just show you my cozy outfit for the day because it is, like I said, not the best out there today. So I've got this really cute jumper. I love this. It's like the snuggliest thing ever. Um, and then just some new look jeans and some just chill trainers for running around in because I'm just going to go and take um, some bits back to New Look um, and to Boots and then I'm going to go and actually price up a carpet which is really exciting because I've actually never bought a carpet before for our bedroom um, so to go instead of this I think it'll be nice and squishy when we get out in the mornings um, yeah so I'm going to go and do that and I'll take you guys with me but obviously it's raining so I'll just vlog what I can Hey loves, so I've just got to Trostra um, and I'm going to take these bits back and Okay so obviously I couldn't not pop into Primark while I was here and I found this coat and these are normally so expensive I think this one was only like 30, yeah, 35 pound I just thought such a steal um, I absolutely love this clutch bag I think it looks so much more expensive than it actually was I've also found those lush leather leggings, um, which are in like an olive green colour. And I just think they are amazing and so like perfect for autumn. Um, and again, such a bargain price. I've seen these clutch bags everywhere at the minute. So I just thought this was a really, really nice one. Um, it was actually a really good size as well. And it does have a strap in case you want to just pop it on for the day, which I thought was really handy. And obviously it's a nice neutral nude colour. It's going to go with so much. I literally love these berets. Um, I don't know if I would actually wear one. I think we'll give it a bit of time, but £4 and 100% wool was amazing. Um, then I found these perfect, like, natural nude, just, like, basic pieces that I think will be great staples for winter and autumn. Um, and then I came across this bag, which I just thought was lovely. It's really nice, like, weave material. I've seen some similar in Topshop, but obviously, like, double the price or more. Black, obviously, classic boots. I love the nude ones. Unfortunately, the heel is like way too high for me, but I just thought these were an absolute dream. And they're 16 pounds, just perfect for this time of year. And then again, another classic staple piece. I just spotted these and thought, oh, these are just a dream. And they're, I think, 12 pounds. So you just can't go wrong. These are actually some Gucci dupes. So I couldn't really resist these. So I may have picked them up. They were eight pounds. And the Gucci ones are like 550, no, 575 pounds. So yeah, I mean, I think they just look so much more expensive than they are. I can't believe they were only eight pound. Um, you guys know by now I love a little leather jacket and that was a super dreamy one. Um, also really reasonable, really gorgeous, chunky knits. And these had like tie bands around the waist, which I thought was really nice. And again, looks so much more expensive than 15 pound. Perfect little autumn dress that I saw. Um, been loving the faux leather at the minute. I think it looks great. These are some really nice midi pleated skirts. Um, again, really nice autumnal colours, which I thought would just be really easy to wear with like an easy, simple um, knitted top and then a chunky shoes and chunky um, leather jacket. I thought this looked very Zara-esque. 
um, and way more expensive than it was again. So pre-work were actually doing really, really well that day. Um, I was very happily surprised. These are just a dream. I'm not sure like teddy bear or fluffy style coats will be back in this year or not, but I do think they're just super gorgeous. Something I do know that's in this year is these trench coats, which, oh my God, this was just such a steal. Um, it's £30 and the ones I've seen are a lot more than this. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a really, really nice shape, a really nice style, a really nice colour. So I really enjoyed that little quick browse. Um, and then I took you guys upstairs um, because upstairs in our one is the home stuff. But I was actually quite disappointed with the home stuff. So I just found these really cute um, Mean Girls drinks water bottles and thought they were super cute. <laughs> So it was too wet for me to put outside and my hair. I actually straightened this this morning. I actually think it looks all right, but it wasn't meant to look like this. Anyway, um, I took the stuff back to New Look. There wasn't really much in there, um, if I'm honest. But um, I did go and swap my lip gloss for my all-time favourite, which I was so glad that they would do for me because I didn't have the receipt, which is this one. It's the NYX Butter Gloss, and it's in shade Mag Madeline. Um, but I ordered it in tiramisu because the lip liner i get is called tiramisu so i got it wrong anyway i have to show you when i get home what i picked up because there's a few bits i just couldn't leave there um yes yeah, so i'll show you when, when i get home so i've just got back from um oh i'm just with my stool um shopping and i did have a little look around a few other places but nothing really worth reporting i did share some um bits that i found in tesco of all places i always find that actually quite surprising how good it is um, I've got on my Instagram story, so if you're not following me over there, make sure you are. Um, obviously you'll have missed them now because they won't be on my story anymore, but some nice little like cozy knitwear pieces, things like that. Um, and I've just made some lunch, so I've made quite a basic lunch for me. Um, this is some fried egg on a piece of toast and then sriracha and rocket and tomatoes and it's just some, um, pumpkin seeds, so super simple. But a pretty staple lunch. I always have eggs for lunch. And um, for a while, me and Reese decided that we would stop being plant based. And we kind of just realised it was pure laziness. So we've decided to go back plant based, which is nice. And I'm excited now. Um, I say plant based, we're still going to have egg. So pescatarian, egg and fish. So yeah, I'm excited about that choice and I'm happy about it and it means we get to sort of like explore with recipes again and things like that. So I'm really looking forward to baking some nice things actually um, and cooking some nice bits. So I'm gonna try this. And then I've got some editing to do upstairs and maybe a skincare thing to film. So maybe I'll do my skincare with you guys later as well. I just have to show you this brownie. Me and Ruth, oh okay, I have to finish it first. Me and Ruth made a Kinder Bueno and Nutella brownie. This is all that's left. Look at that goo on the inside. Look at the Kinder Bueno goodness. So it's got Kinder Maxis in it. Kinder Bueno on top and Nutella inside. Now I'm gonna go upstairs and show you guys what I got. Okay, so I got back from town. I call it town, it's called Chostra here. It's like an enterprise park because our town is not so great. Um, but I came back to a little PR package, so I just wanted to share it with you. It's from my all-time favorite tan. And if you guys ha are looking for a tan, um, this is a Welsh tan as well. So obviously it's the best, but actually it genuinely is. For a girl who's used nearly every tan on the shelves, this is honestly the best tan I've ever found. And I have continued to use it for, I don't know, since I met Charlotte, who's the owner of Tiny White Bits. Um, and there's a discount code I have I'll leave it on the screen as the ambulance go past. Um, and also, <laughs> I had to change my battery on my camera. Um, so as I was saying, if you guys also are like a bit scared of using tan, this one is honestly such a dream. It doesn't make you orange. It makes you nice and natural. This is like, and it just fades naturally, which is the best part of it. It won't fade like patchy or horrible, anything like that. Um, and this is like, it faded now. So obviously I haven't got it on, but I have had it on and it's just faded completely naturally. And I normally do it like once every like seven to 10 days, it normally lasts. Um, and I have a whole video on how to apply it properly and like some little tips and tricks on not getting it streaky or not getting it like, you know, all over your hands, those sorts of things. And um, so yeah, this is my favorite time. And she's just such a mega babe. It says, keep up the great content. P.S. Thanks for tagging us. 
of course, as if I wouldn't. And she shares a lot about recently, I think they want to do a lot of campaigns to do with like body positivity as well. So yeah, it means a lot to me to have like her support. And there's a Welsh business owner, I really admire her um, for all the, all the stuff she does. Um, and she's also started this little side company and they sent these gorgeous little um, bracelets and it's called Mimi Boo Boutique. Um, and they have just really gorgeous little um, simple jewellery. Um, yeah, so this is a really gorgeous one that she's obviously just sent me. I'll pop it on and show you guys what it looks like on. But I'm actually going to show you what I got shopping because I've actually got really good at like containing myself. So although I shared you a lot of really nice pieces in Primark that the old Katie could easily have bought all of, um, I controlled myself and just bought a few little essentials, like a few little basics that I feel like are really, sorry, this is really getting on my nerves, but I've got the wrong bra on for this top, but because it was under a jumper, like, it's fine. Um, so I picked up this, which is actually a swimming costume, but they work great as bodies. So I've actually got this in cream and I got it at the start of the summer from Primark and I paid full price six pound for it. But this one was down to three pound. Um, and I don't actually have a black strappy body and I just know the length of the body is really nice. It's really comfy. And even though it's a swimming costume, it doesn't look like one at all. It is slightly ribbed and then it goes like slightly lower at the back, but it's just a really lovely body. And I think it's just gonna be great for this time of year when you like want something nice underneath and you can just like chuck a little comfy top on top. It's also just gonna be great to like tuck into like anything. So yeah, I am really chuffed with that. And I always size up in, not always in bodies, but in swimwear. I normally always size up. So I've gone for a size 14 in that. And then I could not buy these because, okay, I'm gonna talk you through them both. <laughs> these are basically, actually, they don't look that great, but they honestly are gonna look so lush on. And because it rains so much here, I feel like the ones with the, the backs, although I love the look of them, your feet just get wet all the time. So I feel like these are gonna be my sensible shoes, but they're gonna look super chic. You know those days where you just don't wanna put boots on? I feel like my, I don't like my feet being too enclosed. And in boots, I feel like my feet are really enclosed. So for me, these are just like a little bit comfier. Um, and they were only eight pound. And they're literally a complete dupe of like the Gucci lo loafers. Um, but they just look super classy and super chic. And they look way more expensive. They look great with like, like blazers, dressing up outfits, just making like day outfits look really chic. Um, yeah, so I'm so chuffed with them. And then obviously, whenever I like something, I have to get it in two colors because that's just me and I got them in the pink as well which I kind of have been looking for a nude pair for a while and they are more of like a nudie pink than they are pink pink which is good um I probably should have waited until I found a complete nude pair but for eight pound I was like I can't not I'll just regret not buying them um and again they're just a, like a dupe of the Gucci loafers I love them I just think they're so comfy because they've got like this like really comfy material. I've tried shoes on like this um, from Topshop before and they just were the most uncomfortable things ever. And I just, I'm someone, I'm just like a free spirit. I like to, if I can, just not wear shoes ever. Like I'd have to live on a beach shoeless for the rest of my life. But if I have to wear enclosed shoes, I want them to be comfy. And you guys know all about that practical fashion. <laughs> um, and these are just that because they're actually, look at them, like they're just so flexy and comfy. Whereas the chocolate ones are like hard and not comfy and not nice. So yeah, I got them in, I've accepted now I am a size eight on the shoe front. I, ha I have wide feet, but you know, yeah, it's the reality, isn't it? So, so that's that. Now I'm gonna go and get back to a few emails. I have a few little exciting collaborations coming up over on Instagram actually, not over here. So like I mentioned earlier, make sure you are. Follow me at the dog Katie on scores on there and we'll have a little catch up later on. Good evening, loves. So today, where am I? Where am I with my day? So I've just spent the last few hours at my desk, um, replying to emails, sending invoices, that sort of stuff. Um, and now me and Risa watched a little bit of TV and had some dinner, which was really yum. We had like a butternut squash um, recipe from HelloFresh. Um, we had like three free ones a while ago and we, came, we kept the recipes and they're so good. Um, so yeah, if you've ever been thinking of trying it, you should. And now we've decided we don't want to watch TV all night. Although it's like really rainy and there's not really much to do, we just don't want to just 
stay in. So we're gonna go and get a little hot chucky and just go for a little drive and sit by the sea, even though it's raining. So I'll take you with us. So we got to, to, to Starbucks and I decided I was too thirsty to have a hot chocolate. So I ordered this, which is a frozen iced tea, tropical mango, but it's nothing on a mango and passion fruit cooler from Costa. So what do you think? Oh, it's not great. Yeah, it's what you want like. <laughs> So now we're going to go drive and look at the sea. Nice PJ's hand. So you come down to the sea. It's a bit of a rainy day, but it's still beautiful. So we're just enjoying it from the car instead. And I'm trying to convince Reese to get pizza. No chance. <laughs> Even though we've had dinner, but I'm just really hungry. So. Go on, you end the vlog for me, Reese. Go on, do what I would do. No. Go on. No. You just started it. No. So, go on. So. Thank you all for being here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> what was that? What was that mean? Subscribe for the Good Vibe Tribe. Yeah! Hit that subscribe for all those good vibes. <laughs> yes. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's vlog. I'm going to be doing three a week now, so make sure you are subscribed. And make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!